Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together. It's Operation Give Jesus your 100%. 2022 is no retreat, no surrender. We are fighting forward, beloved. As Jiki Aruhumeli Muraho. Christ ahead of us, the world behind us. He is teaching us how to live as his disciples. Holiness that pleases him. His standard is not our standard. May his name be glorified. We serve a king, beloved, the great I am, powerful God, the one and only risen king. In him are hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. The honors lies on us, beloved, as individuals. Are we going to hear Ken and heed his warnings and embrace his love as he's preparing us for his coming, ushering us to his kingdom. Glory to his precious name. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. Today is day seven, last day of our fast, last day of the year 2022. To God be the glory, beloved. We have started this year waiting upon our Heavenly Father in fasting. And we are ending this year, 2022, waiting upon our Heavenly Father in fasting and prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. What a blessing, beloved. Hallelujah. Beloved, the slogan of 2022 was no retreat, no surrender. So this is the last video you are hearing me saying, no retreat, no surrender. And I just want us to look back a little bit, beloved, on this year, 2022. It has been a challenge, beloved. Our father has been taking us humbling upon humbling. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are here. We are still standing. Some gave up on the way, beloved. Some joined us. To God be the glory for those who are still holding on. We only managed through him, beloved. On our own, we cannot. But Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. And the word of God says in the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, it says, looking unto Jesus, our author and finisher of faith. Hallelujah. He carried us through the year 2022, beloved. And we are still standing. Narrowgate faced lots of challenges in 2022. But as the slogan said, beloved, no retreat, no surrender. Hallelujah. We did not back down, beloved. We kept pushing. We kept standing. We kept praying. We kept fasting. And to God be all the glory. The word of God says in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23. The word of God says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful who promised. Let us hold dearly what we have. Let us hold dearly to the faith that we have right now, to the knowledge that our Father has given us without wavering, because the one we serve is faithful. The one who promised is faithful. This journey is not easy, beloved. I normally say it's not for the faint-hearted. I love the word of God in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 12. It says, blessed is a man who, who endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he will receive a crown of life, which the, the Father has prepared for those who love him. Praise the name of the Lord. So beloved, we have to hold on. Our Father is not yet done with us. But what I can tell you is, time is closer than we think. Let us rejoice. Hallelujah. Let us hold on to faith. Let us trust him, beloved. Remember the word of God says in the book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 4, it says, and God shall wipe away all our tears. So think about it. 
that if the word of God says he will wipe away all our tears, it means that we will share tears, beloved. And I know, beloved, I can testify it myself that this journey is not easy. Self has to die. Many times we cry to our father for strength. Challenges, beloved, that we encounter on daily basis. But the word of God says, greater is the one in us than the one who is in the world. Again, the second epistle that Paul wrote to Timothy in chapter 2, verse 12, he said to him, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Praise the name of the Lord. In the new Jerusalem, the new earth. So let us endure the hardness for now, beloved. Let us allow this suffering. It is a promise that is in the word of God that we shall reign with him. Hallelujah. So this suffering, these challenges are prophesied, beloved. We do not have to be dismayed nor discouraged. Let us hold on to faith without wavering, beloved. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord, beloved. Psalm 145 verse 2, it says, Every day I will bless thee and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Every single day, whether it's hard, whether it's not hard, whether we are sad, whether we are challenged, whether we are happy, we have to give him praise every day for he is worthy of our praises. Beloved, let us rejoice today and trust in our hearts that our father has heard our prayers because the word of God says, he who promised is faithful here in the village beloved our father is doing wonders i started a service here three times a week we meet and i share the messages that our father has given us in narrow gate channel praise the name of the lord it is amazing that in this time that i've been here our father has taught them so much it is amazing and he is revealing so many things to them through dreams. Beloved, you see people who are hungry for the true gospel. I remember the day I shared to them about covering our hair as women while we are worshiping God. Beloved, the following day, every woman came with their head covering. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, one of our daughters in the Lord yesterday was sharing a dream that father gave her about the crosses. I didn't even have to share. She shared the message of what father showed her in uh, her dream. Praise the name of the Lord. It is amazing, beloved. They have learned about the symbols and patterns and already father is revealing to them you know, about metals, you know, Father will just show them before I even share. To God be the glory. We serve a powerful God, beloved. And there are lots and lots of testimonies of what our Father is doing. Praise the name of the Lord. So today we are going to gather at 11 p.m. We will start our service at 11 p.m. And we will praise and worship God until 2023 hallelujah we are looking forward we are excited beloved that is when we're going to be breaking our fast so beloved please break your fast today after midnight hallelujah let us take time and praise our father he is faithful and dedicate 2023 to him beloved our father is not yet done with us let us dedicate 2023 to him and pray and break all the bondages beloved of the enemy all the hindrances beloved the word of God says he has given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And he said in his name, we shall cast out devils. 
Praise the name of the Lord. We have nothing to be afraid of. We serve a powerful God, beloved. The devil is his creation. All we have to do is to trust and obey him. Let us cast down all imagination, every high thing that shall exalt itself above the knowledge of God in 2023. Let us pull them and put them under the obedience of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, let us enter 2023 strong. We serve a king. We serve the great I am, ancient of days, the one who is more than able. There is absolutely nothing that he cannot handle that comes our way. 2023, here we come strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. The next video, you will hear the slogan of 2023. Let us remember that our father is wrapping up. The axe door is about to close. Those who want to enter in 2023, they have to run for their lives because it's about to close. Glory to Jesus. You know, there is a song that goes like this. We are marching to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Hallelujah, we are marching to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Hallelujah, no turning back as a jiki arihumeli moraho. Zion is where we are heading to, beloved. New Jerusalem, the city of our heavenly father, where he will wipe our tears away. Glory to his precious name. He carried us, beloved. We are still here. Hallelujah. And to those, beloved, who gave up in the process during the year, we say, come back, come back. The door of the ark is about to close. Come join us. Praise the name of our Lord. Hallelujah. Enjoy your food, beloved. And uh, let us remember again to continue to pray and stand in the gap for the church worldwide. Hallelujah. Beloved, you will not be hearing from me for the next few days. I'll be back soon. Maybe just two or three days I will not be available. The work in the village is increasing, beloved. And I am seeing the hand of our Father each and every day. To God be the glory. We will continue next year with prophecies. Next year is only tomorrow. Hallelujah. So I will continue with prophecies and all other things that our father is correcting us from. Praise the name of the Lord. Pambi Lingo Jesu Asiji. We serve a king. Powerful God. We are loved, beloved. Let us rejoice. I love you all. Stay blessed as we go and dedicate 2023 to our heavenly father. Bye-bye.